Rules of Lawn Bowling. Greetings fellow athletes, today we're talking about the rules of lawn bowling. So let's start. The Objective in Lawn Bowling. The objective in lawn bowling is to roll your balls in a way that ends up as close to the jack as possible. You have to make sure that one or more of your balls are closer to the jack than any of your opponents. In the game, the team or player which manages to reach 21 points before the opponent team is declared as the winner. The team can also win if they have the maximum number of points after the end of all rounds. Scoring in Lawn Bowling A team or a player will score corresponding points if they have more than one bowl closer to the jack than their opponents. At the end of the round, a player or team whose bowl count is closest to the jack gets one point. Rules of Lawn Bowling 1. The green takes place on individual rinks made in the bowling green. 2. The rinks are 4.3 to 5.8 meters wide and 31 to 40 meters long. 3. Lawn bowling can be played as singles, pairs, triples, and fours. 4. At the end of the lawn, there is a ditch that is wide enough to catch the balls if they fall in them. 5. The game begins with a coin toss that decides which team goes first. 6. After the toss, the player who's supposed to bowl first places the mat and rolls the jack down the green. 7. It is absolutely essential for the jack to travel at least 23 meters to be considered in play. 8. After jack comes to rest, it's moved to the center of the rink. 9. The game officially begins after this, and the players take turns to bowl. 10. Players get points for each bowl that's closer to the jack than the opponent's closest bowl. 11. Once the round of 21 bowl ends, the game restarts from the opposite direction. 12. The bowls which fall in the ditch when the player bowls are discarded, irrespective of how close they are to the jack. 13. There is an exception if the ball touches the jack before going into the ditch. In that case, they're considered legal. 14. In case the jack is knocked over into the ditch, if it is within the boundaries of the rink, it will be considered alive and in play. 15. In a situation where the jack passes over the side boundary of the rink, irrespective of it's in a ditch or not, it's considered a dead end and is replayed with no scores being counted. 16. It is allowed in the game to strike the bowls of the other player, with your own intending to gain a strategic advantage. This is it, folks. Make sure you go through each of these rules thoroughly before participating. Share with us your experiences and variations in the comment section down below. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.